I had a really great question today about uh, what to do when you would, when you want to respond to your spouse in a way that you would like to be uh, treated. Well, when you feel really uh, resentful and, and angry about something that they have said or done. Um, I'm currently going through additional training uh, with emotion focus therapy to be certified in that and I am loving this training so much. As an attachment focused therapist I believe it is the best way of trying to figure out how to be better connected and more securely attached to your spouses and to your children. Most of us uh, I believe haven't been really taught what is the appropriate way to express anger and how do we show that? How do we share that in our homes with our kiddos? Um, anger is great emotion. It's God-given. It's important. It is a red flag to our minds and bodies that something that's happening to us right now is, is not okay. And we need to do something about it. And anger gives us that um, motivation, that energy to actually, you know, act. Unfortunately, if we act in our anger when our lids are flipped, as Dan Siegel would say, um, then we're probably not going to get the outcome that we desire. You know, what, when you're hurting because of something that your spouse has said, for example, uh, what do you long for? What do you really want to have happen? What do you want them to say or do? And if you respond to their... Um, what they've said or done to, to their behavior with, with anger, where will that take you? Likely you know. You've probably done this dance, you've been stuck in this cycle, this pattern with your spouse uh, from the early days of your relationship. When you have conflict, you typically resolve it in similar ways, right? Or it doesn't get resolved. It just kind of goes through this cycle of, you know, I get upset with him for something he said or did, and the way that I cope with that or deal with that usually upsets him more. And then the way that he copes with that or deals with that upsets me more. And, you know, around and around we go. It is a hard, hard lesson to have over and over that we need to do something to interrupt that cycle. We need to really look at what is underneath that anger and try to identify it. And once you identify what's underneath the anger, be able to share those more tender, vulnerable feelings and get to the heart of the matter with your spouse. What do you long for in your relationship? What kind of attachment do you hope to have? Are you hoping to feel greater connection? Are you hoping that your spouse will let you know how much you matter to them? Or perhaps you're hoping that you'll just feel lovable and acceptable for who you are right now, knowing that you're not perfect and there's always going to be things that uh, bring up conflict, still, you know, your way of being is is acceptable. And, and you'll work on the finer points as you go along. This is the commitment, I think, that we make to each other in marriage, is that we accept each other for, for who we are and where we are. And we also expect each other to keep growing and learning and doing better. EFT has taught me that doing uh, better in relationships means identifying that cycle. Create a name for it. Um, you know, call it the terrible tango or the terrible twist, the, um, I don't know, whatever whatever you can make up that, that makes you realize, hey, we want, we know that with emotions, we name them to tame them, and this is true with what's going on in your cycle too. If you can name that pattern of behavior, that pattern of relating that we have with each other, then you can begin to tame it, and we can start talking about the talk. We can talk about how we are talking to each other and what we want to do differently, and how we can make it a better interchange, and really the best skill that we have for being able to do that is to get to those soft underbelly feelings and share the longings of our heart and share the emotions that are underneath the anger and um, we'll talk about some tools for being able to get to that place 
in my next. <laughs>